Hey everyone, Brad from Circling Drone here. Good morning. I've got uh, two mighty little sub 250 drones with me today. I've got the Seafly 2, Seafly Mini 2, and the uh, Potenzic Atom. Um, I want to do a little comparison with these two. I really haven't done one of those yet. I checked all my videos and I thought I would. I, I swear that's why I bought the Seafly Mini 2 was to do this. But. I think weather and everything got in the way, but anyway, I got them out today. Beautiful morning at the lake. I wanted to do a little quick comparison with these two. Um, they're similar weight, sub 250, so that's good. They both shoot 4K30. Let's see the uh, Seafly Mini 2. This is the controller for it. So your phone goes down here. I have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, um, so it pulls these little arms right out. See, that's the controller for the Seafly Mini 2. And then the controller for the Potenzic Atom, of course, is this really cool design. It pulls out like this. My phone fits perfectly in here. could fit even a little bit more, but I really like this design. Another. Another big difference is the uh, that I found out yesterday, but I knew. But when I wanted to charge the batteries, um, I have a two battery combo with the the uh, Mini Two C Fly Mini Two, and it comes with one little battery charger like this, and it takes a long time to charge the batteries. I tell you, the uh, Potenzic Atom comes with this three battery charger. And it charges all three batteries at the same time, and it has its own dedicated plug. Uh, it's a, and it charges pretty quickly. It charges all three pretty quickly, so that's another big difference. So, you know, I'm scoring a lot more points for the Potensic Atom so far with all the designs and everything like that. The battery charging, the controller. So yeah, we're gonna take these little guys up for a flight and, and shoot 4K30 in both and see which one's better. All right, check it out. All right, so first off, we have the Tenzik Atom. You can see how the phone sits with the, in the controller here. I like that design. But anyways, we keep hitting that button. Okay, anyway, we've got uh, 16 satellites ready to take off. On point refresh. There's that Tenzik Atom. Take it on up. So we are in 4K30. We'll go ahead and start recording. And I'm going to go. We'll go out. Toward the bridge. I want to do similar flights with these two drones. Kind of get the same view. Just compare those cameras. This is the Potenzic Atom. There's a few boaters out today. I'm trying to stay over the trees here. We're at 200 feet. One thing I like about the the FPV screen on the Potenzic Atom, it, um, down in the corner it shows the drone on the map and it has like a aura in front of it. And if your antennas, yes the flat part of the antennas, not the tips, 
are pointed at the drone you get the the aura is green um, if you're away from the drone it's blue so video transmission week we'll take it on up Two fifty, two sixty-five. So it's looking pretty good. Again, this is the Potenza Gadam, first up. Just checking out that video quality. And transmission signal. We're out over a mile right here. My plan is to do both of these to fly over the bridge and then go over to the spillway. I can't remember. I know the Tenzik Adam can get over there. I'm not sure about the F Mini 2, the Seafly Mini 2. I know I did a range test with it, but I can't remember how far I got. So there's the spillway off to the left. So we'll start bringing it on back this way. This is a really great drone. And I'll have links to both of these down below. I think you can get the Seafly Mini 2 on Amazon. I don't remember. I know I got it on Banggood. So there's the North Shore area. I've done some flying up there. So we're at 74% battery. Yeah, I've done a little flying there. Couple people down there. That's the beach. So we'll bring it on back this way. Again, like I said, I just wanted to do a quick comparison with these two. I know I did a comparison with the Seafly Faith Mini and the Potenzik Atom. And the Mini, Seafly Mini 1, it didn't do 4K30. I think the, it did like 4K25 or 4K, 4K20 maybe. So it wasn't a really fair comparison as far as the cameras but the faith mini 2 does have 4k 30 so there we go just gonna bring it on back potentic atom I hear trees banging behind me, like branches and stuff. I don't know if there's like deer back there or what. I 
I've never seen any bear here, so I don't know. I don't think they have any bears. So I should be safe. <laughs> At least I'll get the uh, Potensic Adam flight in. So we're going to bring it on back. Potensic Adam. Again, these both have 4K30, 3-axis gimbals. So should be a pretty fair comparison. So when I hit a uh, thousand feet, I'll do a return to home. So right about there. Go ahead and return to home. Returning. thing you don't want to do is slide that return button the wrong way because you can either land or return so you don't want to definitely don't want to land so that tends to get him is overhead Neither one of these really boasts uh, accurate return to home, so I'm not really expecting anything from either one of these. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the uh, Pensac Adam. It's a little off, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. Go ahead and bring it on in. Alright, so now I've got the Seafly Mini 2 and there is the phone in the remote. I do have to take my case off because it doesn't quite fit and the, and the cable doesn't reach. I forgot about that. Um, so we have 14 satellites. It says ready to take off, so let's take it on up. Ready to take off. There's that. Sea Fly Mini 2. Ultra Light 249 grams. A little bit different sound than the uh, Pentagon Atom. So let's take it on up. 30. Go ahead and start recording.
see all the trucks out there with their trailers. They're out. Everyone's out boating, doing a little fishing. Getting toward the end of July here already. It's July 20th. So yeah, solid performance from the Seafly Mini 2, from both drones. So really, I guess it's just uh, personal preference as far as maybe the controller, um, the battery charging time is quite different too. I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. Do return to home. Oh, shoot. I oh, did a land. RTH is running. <laughs> yeah, you can't turn the, the beeping off with this one. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> On the Potensic Atom, you can hit the tap the power button in it. We'll stop beeping, but not on this one. Let me drop that gimbal down. So like I said, they're not the most accurate, but within three to four feet, that's pretty good. It's really all you need. So that Mini 2 is coming on down. And there it is, the Seafly Faith Mini 2. It was coming down pretty fast. And it slowed down quite a bit. Yeah, it's a lot closer than the Potensic Atom. I'll give it that. I'll go ahead and cancel. And uh, bring it back over the pad. Oh boy, <laughs> it just wanted to land. <laughs> I'll go ahead and stop recording. Alright, so there it is, the Seafly Mini 2. So yeah, there's a comparison with the two. And thanks for watching, guys. Grab a good drone, take care, and bye.